What's up? What's going on, Punters? How you doing tonight? Not sure exactly what what I want to get done this evening. Hmm. What up, Omni? Siege Beast, what's going on? Yeah, I just made it. Just started. Omni, good morning. <laughs> Omni just got out of bed. Anyway, debated on doing some non-PDT stuff, but on the same note, I kind of want to, uh... I kind of want to just farm up some some gear. And I tell you what... Definitely want some... There's Washboard, Jabolton, Hassey. Omni has been up all night. Oh shit! I'll be honest. I've been playing. Uh, I've been playing Orcs Must Die almost all day. Orcs Must Die Unchained, but I'm ready to get some DDT two going. In fact, you know what? I haven't even done my. Oh, how crappy! There we go, that one will work. I haven't even done my, my weekly yet. That's terrible. Jono, what's going on? There's Logtrog. Anyway, not really sure exactly what what we want to do here, but let's see. I got all of my... You know what, let's just start off with a power surge and get that out of the way. Or better yet, you know, Omni's got some some badass dryad loots. Yeah, I'm gonna be recording a bunch of uh, OMDU stuff tomorrow. Yep, I got my my little night blot flu warning is up there still. Let me let me get rid of that real quick. Don't need it to be spamming you guys about how I got the flu. I still I still don't feel a hundred percent, but. But I do feel better than I did. You know, I didn't log trog. I did not. I, I think I may have ran it, ran it one more time. What's up, Campy? There's pure chocolate thunder. The PCT is here. You know what? Let's do a little blinking. I'm still trying. I'm still searching for dryad loot, and I'm. I'm. I'll, I'll be honest with you. The reason I stopped, I was actually doing. <clears throat> I I've done an insane amount of onslaughts for my dryad gear, and it just seems practically impossible to get the right set. I do have some some pieces that are perfect, but I don't don't have a set, and I'm talking hundreds of hours already. I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying I sat through one thirty-five wave onslaught. I'm talking like probably 10 125 waivers and just still not quite where I want to be yet and that's that's disappointing needless to say let's see let's uh let's get some archers going today what else are we gonna need I'm not even sure but anyway with the change I know the changes are gonna be coming for the passives uh, speaking of the dev stream today, I actually missed it again. I slept right through it, but I did watch the replay. And other than the Christmas, uh, the little Christmas dealy starting off Tuesday, we're getting that little Christmas update, which the, the big steamroller, I got mixed emotions on it, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not a partner there, Logtrog. You can, only, you can follow me, but... I'm uh I am not a Twitch partner. They say no. <laughs> now I'm hoping I will be, as a lot of you guys um a lot, a lot of you guys know, I mentioned to you last week I am gonna be going full time here. About one more I've got one more week of work left. 
Wednesday night is my last night at work. Yeah, I'm feeling a little better. I'm still uh, still hacking up chunks of badness, but <laughs> but I, I feel a thousand times better. Anyway, what do we want to do here with this one? Hmm. I'm wondering if we're even going to need any walls. You know what? Why not, though? Let's see. We got a thousand DU to spend, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping uh, maybe by February or March there, Logtrog. Uh, with me going full-time on the channel, I, spend on, I, I plan on upping it to at least three streams a week, three Twitch streams a week. And then at least another three YouTube streams a week on top of that. Which, uh, you know, I'm hoping. You never know. Let's see. Let's just go with something like that. And then we'll get some archers in the mix. And we'll... What else will we get? Some proton goodness. Let's go something like that right there. Yeah, it doesn't matter, uh, work wise, as long as you have uh, a level 50 DPS is my only requirements to join up. Got a feeling one of those, at least one of those archers will get smashed, but we'll see. Yeah, we still got plenty left. I'm going to throw a couple of more uh, just in case. These uh, these would be the oh shit archers. <laughs> All those mystic walls are the shit. And in fact, they're really fun to play with if you, you know, and I, I'm not a huge fan of the sky guards. It's not that I'm not a huge fan of them. It's that I understand they need some serious buffing. So what have I got? I've got 170 left. Why don't we go... I'm not going to... That doesn't leave me much for protons, huh? I'm going to have to delete an archer, I think. We're going to have to see. This, uh, this may not work. It may, but it may not. Get some protons in there at the key points. It gives me 90 left, which is not much. Let's go with a 30 right there. I guess we can go with 30 here and 30 here. I really like the Mystic Walls. Um, it depends on the situation. I mean, if you want a wall that's going to get just brutalized and is going to take massive amounts of damage, you really can't go wrong with the Squire Walls. I mean, they're... They're just quite the shit. They take uh, reduced damage, plus they got the, the heal on them through the passives. Squire walls are indeed the the hardiest of them all. Let's see, let's get some dryads in this deck and hope. Yeah, I know Omni. I was waiting to hear you give me a hard time about it, but I broke down and did another dryad. So now... I got the five dryads going, and I'll be honest with you, I feel like that's a waste. But trying to find the perfect, uh, you know, the perfect passives and everything. Get a couple more levels and I'll be your bear carry here. For, yeah, it's really, walls are really start situ or situational. Yeah, John, I'm going to be streaming on YouTube at least three times a week. Guys, as far as character recommendations on what to buy, you should just buy what whatever you want. I mean, I always recommend getting the EV2 first. 
And uh, no, uh, no lagnado spam, please. You guys that are hitting up the the lagnado action is try to uh, avoid that if you can. Anyway, yeah, I always recommend the EV2 as your first character, and it really it depends on what you want. I mean, what you like. Every every hero can be viable right now. Now, um, the most exciting thing, in my opinion, that was talked about in the dev stream today was the fixes to all the crit damage. Yeah, lagna that that's the Broomnado. Broomnado is uh, more lovingly known as Lagnado because it it causes massive massive lag. All right. Well, that was easy enough. Let's see, I think maybe maybe one up on these walls, and then... Actually, that one didn't take any damage. I'm not going to bother with that. Maybe one up on, on the walls that did take damage, and then just archer archers. Um, to an extent there, Dotus, yeah. I'm going to be playing a lot of uh, OMD2, or, or OMDU, pardon me. But I also am going to add a third game. Now, this channel is going to be mainly focused on Dungeon Defenders 2 and Orcs Must Die Unchained. But I do intend on adding a third game. And I don't know if I actually want to like put a game in or if I want to just do playthroughs and see what, see what I like. Um, you know, obviously, if you don't enjoy the game, it's kind of difficult to stream it hours and hours and hours a week. And, um, you know, DD2, obviously, I'm fully addicted to. And then uh, OMDU, I really like what I've seen so far. And I absolutely love the OMD franchise. Yeah, I'm, like Omni just mentioned, I'm going to be full-time as of next week's stream. <laughs> I still can't believe the wife said yes. So awesome. <laughs> But yeah, I'll be full time, and I plan on streaming five to six days a week. Um, there are also a couple of days are going to be double duty, where I'm streaming on in the afternoon and then again at the evening, and doing a little bit of everything. But I'm going to be putting a lot of time to the channel, and uh, you know, it's so funny the you know the wife keeps telling me how much of a slave driver she's gonna be and making sure and it's like are you are you kidding me you're you're telling me you're gonna force me to play video games <laughs> oh no <laughs> see so, yeah, I'm I'm pretty stoked I'm really looking forward to it and we'll see if I'm able to make it happen you know obviously with the wife working full-time we've got uh, a full-time income and that makes it uh, a little easier to get the bills paid uh, for anyone that's curious, no, I'm not making any money, really. <laughs> I, I do make a little bit of money, but I'm not a Twitch partner, so I make zero dollars from Twitch. And uh, I do make a little bit of money from YouTube, but it's not anything. I spend more on games every month than I make. So no, financially, this is not a smart move at all. <laughs> but... You know, the wife said I could, so I'm going to. And, you know, obviously I'm going to end up burning my savings account over the course of the next few months just to get the bills and everything paid. But, you know, I'm at a point in my life where I just said to hell with it. I want to go for it and see if I can't make it happen. The voice is already starting to go. It takes a lot of views, Logtrog. You, like, their, their generic response is 500 concurrent viewers. Which, like, almost no one has, unless you've got just enormous boobs. 
and like to flaunt them around. However, they do make exceptions, and if there's a channel that's growing rapidly, uh, they say that there's people that once they've got over to uh, over the point where they were like a hundred concurrent viewers, that they got accepted to partnership. Now the followers don't really do anything other than you know obviously you you know if you have followers they're going to get notifications of when you go live so that will help your uh you know help your viewer count out but it's all about it's all about concurrent viewership I'm also going to be adding uh, quite a quite a few other things to the channel, uh, hoping, you know, obviously my those of you who watch my live streams know that my streams are not, uh, you know, they're not fine tuned. You know, I don't currently I don't I'm not using any stream apps other than Nightbot, which Nightbot is really just kind of a basic chat moderation tool. But I'm gonna get all that dialed in. Start using. Uh, not even sure what I'm gonna what all I'm gonna start using yet. I've been looking over a lot of different stuff. But gonna get it all dialed in here today, or, or not today, this upcoming week. And then I'm also putting together a merch site. You know, and that's not obviously you don't make. You know, you don't make millions off of merch sites, but. You know, I'm hoping. You know, well, the more money I can add to the calls every month with the wife, the longer she's going to let me do it, basically. So I'm going to try to add in some ways to earn a little as well. But yeah, there's going to be... Uh, I'll have a big announcement sometime this week. Now, I already announced that I'm doing it, but I'll kind of have my stream schedule and everything announced this week. And it's going to be frequent and often. I mean, like I said, there's six days a week at the minimum. Yeah, DD2 is going to have, you know, when this next big update finally does come, and I'm assuming in January, there's going to be a lot of work to be done. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely going to be a lot of work to be done. Alright, I'm going to switch over to my Mystic DPS character for this last wave. Let's see, is that old Juice 2? Yeah, there's Juice 2. Well, it's going to, like I said, it's going to be uh, frequent and varied. I'm going to, you know, currently, of course, I have uh, a lot of viewers from Europe and the UK and Australia and Asian countries. And, you know, I want to try to, uh, I'll still definitely have one or two late night streams a week. Where currently I only have one. So, I mean, as far as the, the this time period that we're in right now, uh, which to me is, is late night. Yeah, there's a small patch on Tuesday. It's the Christmas, the holiday patch. We do get it. We get a new, ba uh, new uh, not a boss, but a new baddie. It's going to be uh, like Ogre Tiered, the big steamroller. It's going to, uh, it's definitely going to take out some people's proton beams. <laughs> and then also there's going to be Christmas gifts in the uh, under the Christmas tree which uh, they, they said they still are unsure as to exactly what that's gonna be where are you baddies coming from here's one here I'm just gonna get up here and let uh, let my archers take him out as I mean the dryad is just a beastly beastly tank I mean you can pretty much just sit through damn near anything. I'm 
Of course, as I say that, my health starts dropping. <laughs> I don't have my life leech weapon equipped, I think is what the deal is. Yeah, anyway, last year we got those galactic weapons, and it was actually buggy. And you got over item power 700 galactic weapons. I got two of them, personally. But uh, this year they said that they want to do a present every day. So there's going to be a chance. He, d he did say that there was going to be a chance at legendaries. But then he also said that he's not even sure how it's going to ship yet. Meaning they haven't finalized the update. Alright, let's see what we got here. That would be awesome. They, you know, of course, if there is like a Santa type pet, they're going to want to keep that as a surprise. And, um, you know, we'll find out when it gets here. It'll be in the patch notes or whatever. Anyway. Go ahead and do one more run with this group here, and then I'm going to uh, disband and put another group together. That way, anybody that wants to gets a chance to join. <laughs> 